Hi, I am Anita. Today I am going to explain you the laws of exponents. There are eight laws of exponents. First is, if the bases are same, exponents are different and there is a multiplication of sign between them. That means a to the exponent m times a to the exponent m here the bases are same exponents are different and there is a multiplication sign in between them then you have to add the exponents for example if I have given 4 to the exponent 5 times 4 to the exponent 3 then you have to add the two exponents 5 plus 3 so your answer will be 4 to the exponent 8. Now the second law is bases are same, exponents are different and there is a division sign in between them. a to the exponent m divided by a to the exponent n then you have to subtract the second exponent from the first. For example, 5 to the exponent 4 divided by 5 to the exponent 2, then you have to subtract 4 minus 2. So your answer will be 5 square. I am taking one more example. If 4 to the exponent 3 divided by 4 to the exponent 5 you have to subtract the second exponent from the first so 3 minus 5 so your answer will be 4 to the exponent negative 2 now third law is power to power law if a to the exponent m and there is one more exponent to the parenthesis then you have to multiply the two exponents. For example, if 2 to the exponent 3 to the exponent 2 then 2 to the exponent 3 times 2 so 2 to the exponent 6. Now, the next law is zero exponent. Any uh, number with exponent zero, its value is one. For example, if I have taken 125 to the exponent 0, then your answer will be 1. Now next law is, if the exponent is negative, then to make the exponent positive, you have to flip the number. And if the number is in the bottom, then you have to bring it to the top to make the exponent positive. For example, if I have given 2 to the exponent 3, then it will be 1 over 2 to the exponent 3, which is 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 1 over Eight. Now, sixth law is if the bases are different, exponents are same and there is a multiplication sign in between them, then you have to bring the two bases in the parentheses with common exponent. For example, if I have given 2 cube times 3 cube 
then you have to bring the two bases in one parenthesis keeping the exponent common exponent as it is so it will be 6 cube now if now seventh law is bases are different and there is a division sign in between them exponents are same then you have to write it like this a over b in the parenthesis with a common exponent m for example 4 cube divided by 2 cube so I am taking 4 over 2 in the parenthesis and 3 as a exponent so you can cancel these two so it will be 2 cube which is 2 times 2 times 2 and your answer will be 8. Thank you.